Batteries today mostly consist of expensive and or problematic raw materials, such as lithium, nickel or cobalt. And the polypropylene and polycarbonate separators, which are widely used in lithium-ion batteries, take hundreds or thousands of years to degrade and add to environmental pollution. But this all could now change, because a research team from the University of Maryland recently produced a rechargeable zinc battery with a biodegradable electrolyte from an unexpected source. These little guys here, or more specific, the chitin in their shells. But first, to understand what's going on, let's have a quick look at how ion batteries work in general. These batteries are made up of an anode, a cathode, a separator, an electrolyte and two current collectors. In a lithium-ion battery, positively charged lithium ions move between the cathode and the anode inside of the electrolyte. When the battery is charged up, the lithium cobalt oxide positive cathode gives up some of its lithium ions, which move through the electrolyte to the negative graphite anode and remain there. The movement of the lithium ions creates free electrons in the anode. When the battery is discharging, the anode releases lithium ions to the cathode, causing an electrical difference between the anode and cathode. And because electrons repel each other, they try to rearrange themselves to get rid of this difference by going to a place with fewer electrons. In a battery, the only place they can go to is the cathode. However, the separator blocks the flow of electrons inside the battery. The circuit needs to be closed in order to get the electrons to the cathode using a conductive path between the anode and cathode, generating the flow of electrons from one side to the other. A battery therefore only has a limited amount of energy available. Lithium ion batteries are the current standard, but mining lithium can damage the environment and there are only limited supplies of it. That's why batteries based on zinc ions are an interesting alternative, because zinc is way more abundant in Earth's crust than lithium. But zinc ion batteries have a weakness. They usually can't be charged many times and perform poorly, because water is used as a conductor for the ions inside of them, which corrodes the zinc and forms deposits on the anode that interfere with the battery's function. That's why researchers investigated on chitosan, whose molecules bond well with water, which means fewer water molecules should be available to corrode the zinc. But what is chitosan? Chitosan is a derivative product of chitin, one of the most abundant polymers in nature. It's found for example in the cell walls of fungi, or as mentioned in the beginning, the exoskeletons of crustaceans, which are also the largest source of chitosan, including crabs, shrimp and lobster, which can be easily obtained from seafood waste. Each year, the food industry generates 6 to 8 million metric tons of crab, shrimp and lobster shell waste making crustacean waste a low-cost renewable source of chitosan. Chitosan is also naturally broken down by microorganisms, which means that the battery can simply be buried in the soil at the end of its lifespan, where it will break down within five months, only leaving behind the metal component, in this case zinc, which could be recycled. This wouldn't be the case with lead or lithium. But what exactly did they do? They used the chitosan and zinc ions to create a membrane and placed it over the zinc anode, while the cathode was made of an organic compound known as polybenzoquinol sulfide. This membrane allowed high, fast conductivity of zinc ions without the typical zinc corrosion in water. Instead, the zinc particles turned into microscopic hexagonal flakes that piled up in flat layers along the side of the test battery's anode, which further helped reduce unwanted reactions with the zinc. According to the researchers, the battery now has an energy efficiency of 99.7% after 1000 charging cycles, making it extremely promising and a viable option for storing wind and solar generated energy for transmission to power grids. Besides that, this battery is also a lot safer because of its use of biodegradable, non-flammable materials, which are also a lot cheaper compared to materials used in other batteries. A single coin-sized cell battery, for example, would only require 20 micrograms of commercially available chitosan powder, which would cost less than a 20 thousandth of a cent. In the future, the researchers hope to make batteries even more environmentally friendly, including the manufacturing process. They hope that eventually all battery components will be biodegradable. 
This topic was recommended to me by one of my viewers. If you also have interesting stories you want me to make a video about, just leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.